haven't really looked at where I am. Maybe the sign will tell me. Except for Texas. Oh. Hold on, let me regroup. I seem to have found another antique mall. And there seems to be a couple, actually. Now I just gotta get across this road. Yeah, this definitely looks like something I like. This is a little bit of a game changer here. She's $23. Whoa, wait. This clock. I'm getting really, really carried away. This poodle, yes. Oh my gosh, I would totally buy that if I was at home. This is adorable. $9.95? Oh my gosh, this is too much for me. Okay, this is happening. An armadillo ashtray. That is something that cannot be left behind. I've never seen anything like that before. This is pretty neat. Cringy sound. What about this clock? Sorry. Seven bucks. Is this an ashtray? Oh, that is neat. Fireplace ashtray and cigarette holder. $17. I'm gonna take this stuff over to my definite, oh no, no, no. Please tell me I'm not about to drive my rental car back home. <laughs> yeah, I really like this mug set. Wow. I, I'm in love. I would not ship that in general though. Each wet mug weighs like five pounds. At this point, I'm actually just scared for myself. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get back to the hotel so late and Rachel's gonna be like, what is all this stuff? I'm gonna show up with like bubble wrap. <laughs> like, oh, this is nuts. I'm really scared to turn every corner right now. I feel like there's something epic waiting. Okay, I had to step away from that booth for a second, but I'm back. First of all, love mug, love bug. I can't even talk straight right now. This vintage Lucite belt, 35, 50%. I feel like that's kind of a steal. German, ooh, we like this. So it comes to like $18 when all is said and done. I'm not sure if that's reasonable. I mean, I think it's reasonable, but I'm gonna keep looking because I'm coming back to this booth already. I've decided, what is this? Okay, this is ugly. Puppy power? $7.95. It doesn't really squeak, but I also don't really care. It's coming with me. What is this guy? <laughs> um, that's amazing. I'm not so sure about him in general, but uh, we like the idea of him for sure. Not for $10. Okay, what's Ten bucks, and it's unused. This is a definite too. Wow, I am like, I'm really in over my head right now, to be honest. I'm actually almost. That is so cute. 
I'm actually almost relieved I don't live here because I think I would need a new car to fit all the stuff I would get home. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Lots of cute. <laughs> Nothing. Well, that's generally adorable, but I don't like that stain. Cat. One dollar. Sold. Donald Duck. It's a little stained. But he's only a dollar. I think we're gonna take him. Alright, let's put all this stuff back. I'm making a huge mess. This is so cute. Um that's pretty epic. Made in China. I'm just getting on that one. Little cheerleader box purse. What? Twenty bucks. Wait, this one. Forty dollars. I don't want to do that. This one is neat too. Twenty dollars. I think I'm gonna leave that one behind. All right, I do have to look on principle how much this is 75 i just realized my camera was nowhere it needed to be and that makes sense and they have amazing purses here there's so many i'm interested in this is, that's new that's junk not junk everything everything serves its purpose this is sure this is reproduction yeah I don't know why I said I even question that it is I'm just like a total nut right now all right so there's a lot of compacts in here I'm interested in the purse is amazing there this is amazing they're all pretty high for my purpose I'm interested in this compact and this compact I have a feeling they're going to be, yeah, they're going to be expensive. I can tell by the prices. Okay, we're not going to waste time with that. We're just going to keep looking because I can't remember the last time I had this much fun in an antique mall. Um, This is generally adorable. $6.95. Oh, look at this little football guy. I wish he had his whole family. I've been on a sports band because like everything I bought sports related didn't sell really, but I would totally buy this if it had the rest of its parts or if it was less than $13. And oh my gosh, how am I just now seeing this? It's pretty rough, but I'm already shipping stuff. I've decided for six bucks, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Someone's gonna be really excited to find this. A lot of people ask me if I have these um, and I, the answer is always no, so. He might be in rough shape, but I have him. All right, I gotta put all this stuff down because now I am seeing a decanter set that kind of has my name on it. All right, we need, we need to know about this guy. I usually don't go for this brown stuff, but he's pretty spectacular. Scott. A little bit of paint loss, they usually do. Oh, hold on, everybody's talking over me. Okay, yeah, so he's got some paint loss, but if it wasn't $36.95, I would probably grab him, just because he kind of looks like Pee Wee Herman when he goes to Alamo. What is this? Oh, I thought it was deer. I know this is new, but I absolutely love this. Friends forever, I love Lucy. Oh my gosh, that's like me and Rachel. 
Um, how did I not see these Marlboro playing cards? Probably because there's so much to look at. Looks complete, $7. I'm not gonna count them for that price. I'm just gonna assume they're all there and what is this? Vintage trucker hat pin, $5 sold. What's this one? Does that say $1? Sold. Okay, I'm definitely having a moment. It says eight. Um, I'm gonna ask if it's included in this sale because it does say 50% off all jewelry. I'm not sure if this counts. All right, so it did include the pins, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them. I need to know what's inside these. Oh my gosh, beautiful, but 50 bucks, all right. So I've just been told there's two more floors above me. So before I get too crazy on the first floor, I'm gonna go up here.